What have you heard about sex? I remember when I was 19 years old and my mom told me, <laughs> when are you planning on losing your virginity? That's what she told me. And I was stunned because all my friends wanted to have sex and I was taking my time. I was the romantic. I will wait for, you know, my relationship. But my mom was very self-expressed in that area of her life. And we would have very open conversations about sex. So I already kind of knew what to expect. And I also knew that it's okay to have the wanting. It's okay to feel different types of sensations in your body and that there is nothing wrong with you. And I don't think you are all aware, but kids early on can already feel some pleasure in their body, in our intimate areas and organs, however we want to call it. And as society, we start shaming the children and we are like, oh, this is inappropriate. You shouldn't feel anything. Well, we are curious, you know? Another client of mine told me when she was five years old, she was in a restroom at the kindergarten and there was another girl and they looked at each other and said, oh, you have the same thing <laughs> under your underwear like I do. There is nothing wrong with curiosity, but we are so shamed that we shouldn't be even thinking about our vaginas or penises and all the other things that are sexual that we ourselves block from exploring what is joyful. So how was sex discussed in your household? Was sex used by your mother, for example, if she wouldn't get what she needed from your dad? Would she use sex to block the connection? What was happening with your dad? Was there conversation or was there just, this is not a topic for you and you need to stay virgin until you are married? And if you have any desires, you will go to hell? Like what is really the history and the story of sex for you? I hear for a lot of women who are processing religious trauma that they've been taught they just need to comply with whatever their husband wants. And so for years, they have sex in ways where it doesn't bring them any pleasure or they don't orgasm. Such a pity, right? And some of them finally wake up and start claiming that for themselves. So what is the story for you? Secondly, are you comfortable with saying no, even with your husband? You don't always have to be in a mood, but are you comfortable with saying no? No, I would prefer this or I would prefer that. It's such a strong, such a strong claiming of ourselves. It's not that you are always open to sex, but you can increase the desire that you can have for sex and, and the sexual experience. <music>